Hello guys, today I will show you how to get the latest new K-Sign app, which is the combination of E-Sign and Feather app, allowing you to sign and sideload IPA without computer or revokes. Let me first show you my current iOS version, which is the latest iOS 18.5. Next, visit this website. Link will be in description. Once you are on the website, first let's download the DNS profile. Tap on this button, which will download the DNS by WSF. Tap on Allow when you get this pop-up. Once downloaded, simply launch the Settings app and navigate to VPN and Device Management, and install the DNS profile into your iOS device. Once installed, it's time to install the KSign app. Go back to the website, and here you will find several certificates name. So let's try the first one. You can try both the certificate and see which one works for you. And next tap on Open, and then install the KSign app into your device. As you can see, the installation process has started and KSign is successfully installed. But that's not it, as you must first trust the certificate, launch the settings app, and navigate to VPN and device management, and simply trust the certificate, and then restart your device. Once the device boots up, let's see if the app is opening or not. And as you can see, the app is working file, without error. Now navigate to the settings of the KSign app. Scroll down to the certificate section, and as you can see, there is no certificate for app signing. So let's first download the certificate for app signing. Visit the same website and tap on the certificate button, which will download the certificate zip file. Now that the certificate zip file is installed, launch the files app and locate the downloaded certificate zip file. Tap on the zip file to extract the same. And inside the extracted folder, you will find several certificates, including the KSign certificates. Now let's import the certificate into the KSign app launch the KSign app, and navigate to the settings section. Scroll down and tap on Add Certificate. Now just tap on the plus icon, as shown on the video. And next, scroll down and tap on Import KSign File. Now just locate that extracted certificate folder, select the KSign certificate, which worked for you while installing the KSign app. As you can see, the certificate is successfully imported. Although it says 166 days left, but it may get revoked, so make sure to follow the post-installation tips, which I will share by the end of the video. Now finally, let's sign and sideload an IPA file. From the case signed home screen, tap on the plus icon and select Import from Files. Now locate and select any IPA file, which you wish to sideload. In my case, I will sideload the Play app. Once the IPA appears on the home screen like this, tap on it and select Import app. Once imported, navigate to the Library section from the bottom of the page. The imported app will appear under the Downloaded Apps section. Now simply tap on it and select Sign and Install option. Next, tap on Start Signing. And finally, tap on Install when you get this pop-up. Now, let's go back to the home screen. And you can see the installation process has started. And eventually, the app is sideloaded successfully, without any error. And the app is also working fine. Now for the post-installation tips, visit the same website and scroll down and go through the points. Make sure to religiously follow the instructions. That's it for now. Next, if you want to learn to use the Play app to play PlayStation 2 games, watch my next video and please subscribe to my channel as I really need your support.